I'm gonna teach you how to sound like this on Logic. You can download this preset now. Link in the description. Open comment, yeah. Before we begin, if you liked this vocal preset and want to download it for yourself, you can do so by clicking the first link in the description or the pinned comment. But without further ado, let's get on with the tutorial. So the first thing we're going to need is an auto-tune. So I use the pitch corrector preset on Logic. And for a genre like R&B, even though there will be noticeable pitch correction, you don't want it to be too overbearing like an auto crooner like Lil Uzi or Travis Scott. So the only thing I did besides obviously putting the key of the song is I went to the response and I put it to 36.5 milliseconds. So the slower you put it, the less auto-tune you're going to hear. And the faster, obviously, the more robotic you're going to sound. So I thought that the 36.5 was a pretty solid balance that corrected your pitch, but doesn't make you sound too robotic. Next, we're going to add one of two EQs for this preset. And the reason why I'm adding an EQ now is before we compress the vocals, we want to remove unwanted frequencies before they get compressed as well and mess with the vocals. So all I really did was I added a low cut filter and I just removed the sub frequencies that are going to add muddiness to the vocals. So as you can see in the bottom left with the red numbers, I have it at 162 hertz with a 24 decibel per octave curve. And then I have the Q at 0.67. Then we're going to compress the vocals. And essentially what I did was I used the rap vocal preset, but I added a few changes. I know it says on the screen that there is a limiter and distortion, but you're going to want to remove both of them just because they are not necessary. But what is necessary is to have the threshold at these settings at negative 25 with a ratio of 12 ish and a makeup gain of five. Then we added a second EQ, and this is now to sort of accentuate certain upper frequencies and mid frequencies, again, removing uh, any low frequencies that are still there for some reason. I did this mostly with the pop vocal uh, preset, but I added a few tweaks like boosting the highs a little more, etc, etc. Then I added a de -esser. This is to remove the harsh S sounds that will appear in your vocals when you say words with an S. And I did it with the male vocal split band preset. So essentially a negative 20 decibel threshold, a max reduction of six decibels and a frequency of about 7,598 Hertz. But you can play around with this to your liking where it doesn't sound too lispy, but doesn't have too harsh of an S sound. Now we're on to the last two effects, the spatial effects. And the first one I added was a delay. A key thing you should keep in mind is to have the stereo link button enabled because or else the right headphone and the left headphone are going to have two different delay sounds, which can get a bit annoying and isn't really necessary for this style. So what I did essentially is tempo synced it, stereo linked it. I put an output mix of 20%. You don't really want it to be too upfront. To help with that as well, I added a low and a high cut so a low cut of 230 hertz and a high cut of 5000 hertz just so the really low frequencies don't get delayed and the really high harsh frequencies don't get delayed either and i put the delay time following the tempo at essentially quarter notes but that can also be changed depending on the song maybe you you'll want triplets uh, maybe you'll want eighth notes. It really depends on the style you're going for. And finally, I added a reverb to add the common spaciness in a lot of R&B. Key thing really is having the wet level at 30%. You don't want it too high um, because or else it can make you sound washed up and frankly unprofessional. But you can play around with that as much as you need. For decay, I put it at one bar. The pre-delay, I put it at one thirty-second of a note. The attack, I put at 14%. Room size, 60%. Density of 80%. And I used the chamber room style just because I feel like it works really nicely for more soulful vocals. And as you can see, it has a bit of an EQ thing where really the mid-range is what has the most uh, reverb in it. And that's essentially how you get R&B vocals on Logic. Again, if you liked this vocal preset and want to download it for yourself you can do so by clicking the first link in the description or the pinned comment make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for more tutorials like this i do it on a wide range of daws whether it be fl studio band lab now we're doing logic and comment what other vocal presets you want me to do i'll see you guys in the next video peace